Hello everyone, welcome to a guide for Stoman's questline in Lords of the Fallen. He's one of the first NPCs you meet when arriving in Skyrest at the beginning of the game, and he starts out a bit salty when you first approach him, mentioning that the lamp you now carry was originally intended for him. He sells some items including the Pilgrim's Perch Key, which is needed to progress to specific regions in the game, but if you forget or choose not to purchase this key, once you reach a certain point in the game, Stoman will disappear from Skyrest, leaving behind a map and the Pilgrim's Perch Key for free. I'm not 100% sure at what point he leaves, but it might be related to exploring Lower or Upper Kalrath, or defeating one of the bosses like the Spurn Progeny or the Hollow Crow. Once he's gone, if you speak to his soldiers near the Shrine of Orias, they'll mention Stoman went to the Manse of the Hollowed Brothers, which is where you can find him next. You'll need to reach the entrance to the Abbey of the Hollowed Sisters, which is just to the left of the Tower of Penance, and in order to get here you need Abbot Vernoff's key. When you reach Stomond at the entrance, listening to his dialogue here will reveal that he wants to speak with Judge Cleric about what happened to the Hollowed Sentinels. In order to do this, he'll request you to retrieve two items, the first being a damaged standard and the second being a tattered banner. Once you've reached this point in the quest, make sure not to enter the Empyrean, which is the area at the top of the elevator before the Judge Cleric boss fight. If you go to the Empyrean before delivering both items to Stomond, this will fail the quest. So to get the damaged standard, just follow the path I take in the video, it's pretty close by from where we just spoke to Stomond. Now to get the Tattered Banner, make your way deeper into the Abbey of the Hollowed Sisters until you reach the boss room containing the Room of a Deer that you can interact with. Follow the path I take until you arrive at an outdoor area, featuring a saintly quintessence underneath a gazebo ahead. There's always a mini boss here that you're going to have to fight and once you defeat it, go into Umbral Mode and Soulflay the statue ahead of you. This will give you a saintly quintessence, and as soon as you pick it up, one of those enemies that shoots the lightning bolt at you should spawn behind you. After I soul flayed the statue, I guess the game bugged out and that enemy did not spawn for me. So what I did to fix this is travel back to the vestige, then I killed the rapturous huntress of dusk boss this time, which is the one that spawns when you interact with the rune of a deer, then I went back to where that saintly quintessence is, went back into umbral, and then the enemy spawned and allowed me to get the tattered banner. So I'm not sure if killing the boss made it work or if I just had to reset my instance by resting. Either way, just keep that in mind if you get here and you don't see that enemy. With both items required, you can now progress the quest by giving them to Stomond, who can be found on the second floor next to this big red tree. It's hard to miss this area since you have to pass through it to even get to the Tattered Banner. Once you hand over the two items and exhaust his dialogue, make sure to buy everything you want from his inventory because this is your last chance to trade with him. Once you progress to the Imperium, Stomond will no longer be available to talk to or to trade with, even if you haven't given him any pieces of the banner. So again, only go to the Imperium when you're ready to finish the quest. Once you're there, climb up the steps before the doors to Judge Cleric and you'll find Stomond's body impaled on the restored banner.
This is where you can collect his armor, weapon, shield, and the banner itself. And of course, you'll get the achievement Faithful, which says Stomond, Captain of the Fidelis, was greeted at the Imperium. Upon returning home to Skyrest, the other two Knights of Fidelis found in the same room as the Shrine of Orias will have disappeared as well. For anyone who's curious, here's a preview of what his armor, weapon, and shields equipped on your character will look like. So that's the full guide and the rewards for Stoman's quest. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, let me know in the comments. Make sure to check the outro and description for more Lords of the Fallen guides. And with that, thank you so much for watching.